Now, let's talk about all those areas of interest over the Atlantic Basin, bringing Michael into this discussion. Definitely not a dull day over those waters, Michael. Oh, no, not at all. Not in mid-August. Take a look at what we're talking about here across the tropics. Things really heating up this afternoon. We have uh, a disturbance that we'll be watching into early next week for the Gulf of Mexico and then two systems here in the central and the eastern Atlantic with about a 50-50 chance of development. We're going to come back to the Gulf of Mexico. That's only the one that has any potential for a U.S. impact in the coming days. But these two systems out here are very interesting. They're part of a longer feature, a sort of elongated area of low pressure called the monsoon trough. We're watching two of these, and it really the model's kind of going back and forth on where we may see these systems form within the monsoon trough. But regardless, we can track the spin, and you can see it's moving toward the central Atlantic, so it's moving toward water, open water, and we don't expect this to be a problem for us here back in South Florida. Now, going over to the Gulf of Mexico, this disturbance is a little interesting here. This is on Monday, and you can see a little bit of spin here indicated by some of our computer models. Very warm waters here in the Gulf of Mexico. Upper 80s record warmth. The good news, though, Calvin and Nicole, is this one is headed off toward the west and toward Texas. So no threats here, thankfully, even with all of this activity for South Florida in the week ahead. Back over to you. Okay, Michael, thank you.